Hi, and welcome to the overview video of the Into the Block platform. So what is Into the Block? Into the Block is a data analytics company that uses machine learning and advanced statistics to deliver actionable intelligence on crypto assets. We believe that the blockchain contains most of the information that is relevant to analyze any crypto asset. And as opposed to other financial assets, we can see every single transaction on a blockchain since its inception. Timestamping this information and overlaying it with price and other data sets such as social, we can build a new and unique way to analyze the behavior of crypto assets, which we call crypto asset fundamental analysis. The toughest part of developing this new form of analyses was to build the infrastructure to be able to process, store, and analyze all this information into indicators that are easily understood by investors of all levels of sophistication. The good news is that our team at Into the Block has done all this for you already. I'll switch over to our website now to show you what our platform looks like. When you get to the Into the Block platform, you'll see two main sections on our homepage. The first is what we call Market Insights, which we will constantly update with the most relevant trading indicators on our platform. We will also be introducing Market Insights summaries in unique areas such as mining activity, decentralized exchanges, and security tokens. When you scroll down on our homepage, you'll see our crypto asset matrix with more than 1,000 crypto assets. And clicking on any one asset, Ethereum for example, will take you to that assets page of indicators. When you get to the token indicator page on the top, you'll see a summary table with some key metrics relevant to that token. And as you scroll down, you'll see our full list of growing indicators, which today contains about 25 signals. And many of these are proprietary to Into the Block. We have four main sections of signals, starting with financial. And these indicators have to do with price and profitability one of which that I'll walk through now is our proprietary in and out of the money indicator. So what we do with this indicator is take every single address that currently holds an asset, in this case Ethereum, and summarize who would make money and who would lose money, assuming that all these addresses were to sell today, based on the current market price. So based on the current price of $307.16, 48% of addresses are in the money, 45% of addresses are out of the money, and the final approximately 7% are at or around break even, which are which we call the at the money addresses. We can do this type of analysis for all of our indicators because we have the data on every single transaction that has ever taken place on chain for the assets we we cover on our platform. In our ownership indicators, we take different views on the capital stack of a token. So we look at ownership first from a concentration standpoint, starting with the ownership percentage that is concentrated amongst whales, which we define as owners of 1% or more of the token supply. So that's, that's, those are these five addresses. And we also take a look at the holding period of every single address to categorize holders by that holding period. And we, we have three buckets for the holding periods. These are hodlers, cruisers, and traders. Next, on our network indicators, we provide a very granular view of what is happening at the blockchain level for, the, for all of our assets. One of these proprietary indicators in the network indicators is our East versus West indicator, which we, we tell you what percent of transactions occur during Eastern or Asian time zones versus those that occur in European and US time zones, which we categorize as Western. We do this because we can timestamp every single transaction on a blockchain. In the case of Ethereum, here you'll see that it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty even split, so we would categorize Ethereum as a global token. And finally, I'll shift to the Litecoin page to tell you about our social indicators. So these social media indicators give our users a sense of the pulse of a crypto assets user and development community. Right now we're tracking Telegram, GitHub, and Google search trends. 
and we'll be adding Twitter and other social media sentiment analyses uh, pretty soon here. So that was a quick overview of our platform as, as it stands today, but our collective intelligence is constantly growing with new data sets, models, and signals being added almost daily. We hope you enjoyed the video and we look forward to helping you make more educated investment decisions when it comes to crypto assets.